Greetings and welcome to Oro Commerce's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro Inc. and today I'll be demonstrating how to create shipping rules and how they work with shipping method integrations using Oro Commerce. In part one of our video tutorial demonstration, we created three shipping method integrations, one for customers inside the USA, another for customers in a specific zip code, and a free shipping integration. Now it's time to create shipping rules to bind our customers to specific shipping rates based on their location or other attributes at checkout. For more information, please see the part one of this tutorial in the media library. Oral Commerce's shipping rule examines a customer's address against a list of shipping rules, taking sort order into consideration, and then displaying only the shipping options that the customer qualifies for. The sort order of one is the highest priority rule. Oral Commerce works through this rule and then processes the lower priority rules. Oral Commerce then returns and displays all the shipping options to the customer that they qualify for. Sellers can also create shipping rules for particular destinations and add expressions in order to granularly target attributes of both customers and products. In our demonstration, we'll create an expression to be used with a shipping rule which will target customers who have a qualifying product in their order and then offer them free shipping as a result. To create a shipping rule, navigate to the main system menu and use the drop-down to select Shipping Rules. Click the Create Shipping Rule button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. A blank shipping rule form displays. Click the Enable checkbox to ensure that your rule is enabled. Add a meaningful name for the shipping rule. For our example, we're using Flat Rate USA. Enter a number for the sort order. This is the priority in which shipping rules are to be evaluated for a customer. For our example, we'll have both the shipping rule for flat rate shipping in the United States and one rule for a particular zip code. If the customer is eligible for both these options, they'll both display to the customer on the checkout. Since this is the first shipping rule, we'll give it a priority of 1. When a customer runs into this rule, the price that is displayed for the rule will be calculated into the shipping options for the customer. Select the Destinations link. Under Destinations, select the destinations to be used for this flat rate shipping rule. If no destinations are selected, the rule is in effect for all checkouts. For our example, we're creating a shipping rule which will charge customers $3.99 for shipping anywhere in the United States. To add a destination, click the plus add button. Use the drop down to select a country. For our example, we'll use the United States. You can add additional destinations by clicking the plus add button. When you're finished, click on the conditions link. Here you can use expressions to evaluate customers or products based on a particular attribute. For example, you could write an expression which would mean this rule would only apply to customers who are purchasing a specific product during checkout. For more information on writing expressions, please see the information on an expression language for shipping and payment rules in the Oro Commerce documentation library. Click the Shipping Methods Configurations link. Use a drop-down to select the shipping method. Use the method we created when we created our first flat rate shipping integration. Click the Add button. Now you can add a price and handling charge for this method. For our demonstration, we'll charge $3.99 for shipping and $1.01 for handling. Use the drop-down to select if this rate is per item or per order. When you're finished, click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. We can demonstrate this by showing a checkout on the Oro Commerce storefront. Reload the options to see the shipping rules. As you can see, we now have a USPS mail flat rate price per order that is figured into the order total. The charge of $5 is made up of $3.99 for shipping and $1.01 for handling. Next, we'll repeat this process to create a new rule for customers that live in a particular zip code. Click on the Shipping Rules breadcrumb to return back to the Shipping Rules grid. Click the Create Shipping Rule button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Click the Enable checkbox to make sure the rule is enabled. Give the shipping rule a meaningful name. For our example, we'll use Pasadena Shipping. Give the sort order a priority of 2. This rule will be considered after the previously created rule. Click on the Destinations link. Click the plus Add button. Add a destination for Pasadena, California. 
Click the Shipping Method Configurations link. Use the drop-down to select a method. Use the option previously created in our demonstration for Pasadena Shipping. Click the Add button. Now you can add a price and handling fee. For our example, shipping to Pasadena, California costs only 99 cents and there's no handling fee. Click the Save and Close button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now we'll return back to our checkout. As you can see, our customer lives in the qualifying zip code. Reload the page to see the additional shipping options. As you can see, our customer now has two options for shipping the flat rate shipping method of $5 and the Pasadena shipping rate of $0.99. Cents. Click the Shipping Rules breadcrumb to return back to the Shipping Rules grid. Now we'll demonstrate how to use Sort Order and the Stop Further Rule Processing option to reevaluate the way this customer receives his shipping options. In our example, our customer qualifies for both of these shipping methods, which is why both options display to the customer on checkout. If we change the sort order to have this rule evaluated first and then check the Stop Further Rule Processing checkbox, when a customer encounters this rule and qualifies for this shipping method, OroCommerce will only return the discounted shipping price and won't continue processing lower priority rules. To do this, I'll need to edit the sort order to change the Pasadena shipping option to the number one priority and the flat rate USA shipping option to the second priority. Hover over the ellipse to the far right of the record and use the Quick Action options to edit the record. You'll want to change the sort order to 1. Additionally, we'll check the Stop Further Rule Processing checkbox. This means when this rule is encountered on checkout, OroCommerce evaluates this rule first and if the conditions are met, stops further rule processing of lower level rules and displays only the rate for this top priority rule. Click the Save and Close button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Click on the breadcrumb to return back to the shipping rules grid. Now that we've changed the Pasadena shipping priority to 1, we'll need to change the sort order of the other rule so that only the Pasadena shipping option is the top rule. Hover over the ellipse to the far right of the record and use the Quick Action options to edit the record. Change the sort order to 2 and click the Save and Close button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now return to the OroCommerce storefront and reload the page. You'll see now that Pasadena Shipping is the one and only option available for the customer. Now we can demonstrate these exact same rules on a customer who does not live in the qualifying zip code. As you can see, we're logged in with our customer from Florida. The one and only option for shipping for this customer is the flat rate shipping, as they don't live in the qualifying zip code. Click on the breadcrumb to return back to the shipping rules grid. For the final piece of our demonstration, we'll create a shipping rule that offers free shipping to any customer who purchases a qualifying product. For this, we'll use a particular expression to ensure that the qualifying product is in the order. Enable the shipping rule by clicking the Enable checkbox. Give the shipping rule a meaningful name. For our example, we'll use Free Shipping. We'll add a sort priority of 1. This means this will be the first rule that customers encounter on checkout. Additionally, we'll check the Stop Further Processing rule. Click the Conditions link. Under the Conditions section, I'll add an expression to check the order for a qualifying product. If a product with the SKU number of XXX1 is in the order during checkout, the free shipping rule will go into effect. Under Shipping Methods Configured, use the drop-down to select a method. Select the free shipping option made in our previous video demonstration, and click the Add button. Enter a price and a handling fee. For this demonstration, there is no shipping charge if a qualifying item is in the order. Click the Save and Close button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Now we'll return back to the checkout. As you can see, the customer has the qualifying product in their order. Reload the page to see the new shipping options. As you can see, the customer is now offered free shipping. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocommerce.com/media-library.